गुड मॉर्निंग डे स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर इंग्लिश ग्रामर क्लास विद चैप्टर नंबर 7 रिमेन पार्ट नेसेसिटी एंड कंपलसरी पॉइंट नंबर 7 डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई सी नो दैट टिल लास्ट क्लास वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सिक्स पॉइंट एंड टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद पॉइंट नंबर 7 पेज नंबर 62 ऑफ योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर क्लास नेसेसिटी एंड कंपलसरी डियर स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन आई विल टॉक अबाउट नेसेसिटी एंड कंपलसरी देयर आर ऑल्सो कंडीशन यू कैन टू रिमाइंड दैट दिस टाइप ऑफ वर्ड्स इज देयर second must not third don't need to and fourth one is don't have to this type of the models will be there every talk of necessity and compulsory first need not means there is no necessity then all the conditions you have to use they not all that thing we will uh, see in detail we use must not or must not or must not do not that something should not be done or that is not a good idea like you must not play with glass you will hurt yourself means in this case you have to remind that something should not be done if you do that type of the things then surely it will be harmful to you like that you must not play with glass you mustn't play with glass must not in short form you have to write must not you can write like this also need not you can write like this also if so that type of the case is given means you don't have to do that type of the action if you do that type of the action then surely on that condition it will be harmful to you on that condition you have to use must not or must not like i must not forget my glasses uh, or uh, specs i will not able to read means it is harmful if so he uh, forget to take his specs then it will be not easy to read for him second point we use need not when something is not necessary it calls for the speaker permission to do something like you did not enter the class not the class is over means there is no need to come to class because the class is already over then on that condition you have to use need not ravi didn't come to pick me up i will take a cab means uh, he need uh, didn't come to the so he take a cab so uh, next point is given here see we can use don't need to and don't have to when something is not necessary similar to need not means need not and don't need to both are similar or we can say that same thing same thing is equal to my like the ravina doesn't have to or doesn't need to get to my lunch box and you don't have to or don't need to wash my clothes that type of the things is being given here next point number 8 is given suggestions in suggestions if we talk about that then shall we and can and could uh, these uh, are the models uh, given in uh, exceptions exceptions of the suggestions we can see that three is given here you have to use uh, any one out of three now we take a uh, model number 8 suggestions in this model we will talk about three model and first one second i will present necessity and compulsory necessity means you have to do that type of the things compulsory means it is done by you and here we are going to talk about both of that in the negative purpose in the negative Can and 
we can use can or could to make suggestions if you want to use can could for suggestion then also you can use could is less direct and more polite than can already explained in last class also could is more polite means we can say that if more politeness is going to be represented on that condition you have to use could only examples like you can call me if you need you could use the ac if you feel hot means more polite more politeness is given in second sentence the more politeness you have to represent on that condition you have to use could point number b we can use shall we to ask for and make suggestion like shall we come along if you are in the need of help means making suggestions where shall we go to this weekend means asking for suggestion if you are asking for suggestion making for suggestion means the suggestion is given that Yeah. 
तुम्हारी इतनी हिम्मत हाउ डे यू यू डू लाइक दैट तुम्हारी इतनी हिम्मत तुमने इतना ऐसा कर दिया मीन्स ऑन दैट कंडीशन देर मीन हिम्मत The order that it was not to be applied to do something. It is mostly used in negative sentences and questions. He dared go into the lion's cage. Dare not means there is no dare in himself. There is dare not means he is given here. He dared go into the lion's cage means we can say that anyone have if we dare to be a go or go into the cage of the lion, then it will be more difficult. And second is given here. Dare you uh, go for boarding in the system? तुम्हारे अंदर इतनी हिम्मत है कि इस तूफान के अंदर तुम नाव लेके जा सकते हो तूफान के अंदर? Means uh, that's for the dare. If anything is about the dare, means about daring. If we are talking about daring, then on that condition we have to use dare. Once again, I am revising from start from number one. Seeking and giving permission, may, can, and could. Three options will be in front of you. May is used for I already explained. Means you can say that for formal permission you have to use may. Like may I help you with the luggage? Can I use your cell phone? Can and could both are used for the request, polite request or whatever. You can say that sometimes it is used for the permission also. So you can say that can and may are used as sometimes informal and uh, could is more polite. And possibility could may and might may is used for the strong possibility. Like there are dark clouds in the sky, it may be rain today. Might for the remote possibility means zero percent possibility. The sky is clear. It might rain today. Could I already uh, told you like that? Suggest an extremely weak possibility. Could he pass the exam? Means uh, can he exam pass? Can he pass? Means he is weak. So that type of things will be uh, remaining strong possibility. Third is given here possibility and ability. I already explained. Can is used for the present possibility, present uh, sorry present ability, present capacity, and that type of things. And could is being for the past only. And be able to is same here. You can use it instead of the can be uh, be able to. Necessity and compulsion have to have got to had to had got to and must. If necessity is given there means you have to do like that that type of the things then must and have to both type of the things you can use there. And difference is here there. First is about speaker choice and second must uh, is being there. Then on that condition we can say that it is about the external opinion or external compulsion. That type of the things will be in the necessity and compulsion. Suggestion, advice, duty. All that thing will be there. Should and ought to. Meanings are same, but condition will be to something different. Ought to you have to use for the moral obligation and should for the we can say that suggestion, advice, or that type of the things will be there. One that you have to use. So, sixth request can could will could. If you are using can and could, it is for the polite request. Could is more polite than can. And will you could you know that if you are, you are asking someone for something else, then on that condition you have to use will and could. Seventh necessity compulsion that type of the things then need not must not don't need to and don't have to need not don't need to and don't have to have same means must not is different from that's not means it is representing something before like you know, we can see that it is a different so it's uh, here because of that is given like that uh, you must not play with class means uh, it will give you a remote result or the opposite result so that type of feelings will be different so must not suggestions shall be and can and could that type of the things should be there suggestion can and could you can easily use because uh, it is good for the making suggestions and we have to use shall be already mentioned here when everyone who stand for the other condition could is more for that than anyone else and shall be used for suggestion asking or giving permission whatever is in there that type of the things you have to use ninth this curse bless prayer on that condition you have to use may Promise that on that condition will and shall will is used with I and we and with uh, other subject you have to use shall and there if any type of the daring or that type of not afraid to do something that type of the things is being there then on that condition you have to use there. Dear students, it is your chapter. If you have any type of the doubt, then sorry you are most welcome to your Google Meet class. You can ask me to your Google Meet class. I will send you all these exercises uh, and you have to fill these exercises in your textbook only. Thank you so much.